If you've ever considered a birding trip to southeastern Arizona, then this video is for you. For our viewers who have already visited this spectacular region, we hope this video reminds you of some wonderful memories. To increase your chances of finding 40 of the must-see target birds, we have divided the region into five distinct areas. The peak time for finding many of these specialties is between mid-April and September. Be sure to watch the end of the video as we reveal which bird is considered the most prized sighting for birders visiting southeastern Arizona. If renting a car, four-wheel drive is typically not necessary, but we do highly recommend hiring a vehicle with high clearance. The Saguaro National Park is divided into two districts, which are geographically separated by the city of Tucson. The park is a great introduction to the birds of the Sonoran Desert and protects vast expanses of the giant saguaro cactuses. Many visitors to the park often want to see what is probably the most familiar bird in the southwest, the greater roadrunner. Though this large cuckoo rarely flies, the roadrunner can reach speeds up to 15 miles per hour, which allows it to catch fast-moving prey such as lizards and rodents. The park is also one of the best areas in the region to find the very local gilded flicker. This large woodpecker excavates its nest cavity in large saguaros. The smaller Gila woodpecker is a plain buffy brown with black and white barring on the back. Although a common year-round resident in the Tucson area, this species has a very limited range in the U.S., being mainly restricted to southern Arizona. The gambles quail is easily recognized by the black, comma-shaped top knot protruding from its forehead. It is most active during the cooler early mornings and late afternoons. The tiny verdant is unusual in that it builds nests for both breeding and roosting, with the roosting nest being much smaller. The roosting nests help the verdant stay warm when the evening desert temperatures may drop to freezing. North America's largest wren, the cactus wren, is a common year-round resident in the park. Its scratchy call, which can often be heard in the cooler mornings, sounds somewhat like a car that will not start. The northern cardinal and the paraloxia are very closely related. They have extremely similar songs and habits. Because they are similar in size and color, the male is often mistaken for a female cardinal. One easy way to tell them apart is a yellowish parrot-like bill of the paraloxia versus the cardinal's red bill. Mainly a Mexican species, almost the entire population of the rufous wing sparrow within the United States is restricted to the Sonoran Desert of South Central Arizona. The best time to find this late season nester is when the males constantly sing at the start of the summer monsoon in July and August. Located about an hour's drive from Tucson, Madeira Canyon is a world-renowned destination for birders. Accommodation is limited in the canyon, but there are several hotels in nearby Green Valley. For visitors with only a few hours to spare in the Tucson area, Madeira Canyon should not be missed. The Mexican Jay is a common and conspicuous resident of the pine oak juniper woodlands in the mountain ranges of southeastern Arizona. Small social groups of between five and two dozen birds typically frequent campgrounds 
picnic areas, and bird feeding areas, such as the Santa Rita Lodge. Within the United States, the Arizona woodpecker is only found in southeastern Arizona and the Palisino Mountains of extreme southwestern New Mexico. Madeira Canyon is one of the more reliable locations to find this year-round resident. The distinct bridal titmouse is common in oaks, pine oak, and riparian canyons with sycamores typically above 5,000 feet, 1,500 meters. It is a year-round resident in the mountain ranges of central and southeastern Arizona and southwestern New Mexico. The stunning red, white, and black painted red start is a common summer visitor to pine oak forests in the mountains of southeastern Arizona. A few hardy individuals remain through the winter. This wobbler moves around constantly, flittering from one branch to another while fanning its wings and tail to flush insects. The mournful peer call of the dusky cat flycatcher in summer is a familiar sound in the canyon. A good area to hear and find this flycatcher is in the riparian area above the Santa Rita Lodge from April through September. When observed in the shade, the adult male varied bunting can appear all dark. But when exposed to the sunlight, a stunning mosaic of rich plum, crimson, cherry red, lavender, and violet shimmer in the light. Sadly, because of their beauty, these birds are often trapped and kept as cage birds in Mexico. Since the Baraline Hummingbird first appeared in the U.S. in 1964, it has become a rare but regular summer visitor to southeastern Arizona and has even nested a few times. The several bird feeding stations in Madeira Canyon are one of the most reliable areas to observe this Mexican Hummer. Located within the canyon, the fabulous Santa Rita Lodge grounds are famous for hosting a pair of nesting elf owls. After a long day of birding, there's nothing more satisfying on a summer's eve than patiently waiting for the world's smallest owl to appear from its nest cavity. More people have seen their first elf owl here than anywhere else in the world. To watch more extensive videos of the Santa Rita Lodge and Madeira Canyon, you can click the links below this video. The small town of Patagonia makes for an ideal base to explore several nearby sites including the Patagonia Sonoida Creek Preserve, Patagonia Roadside Rest Area, and the amazing Patagonia Lake State Park. Located on the edge of Patagonia, the Patton Center for Hummingbirds is the best location in the United States to see the violet-crowned hummingbird, which unlike most hummingbirds, can be found year-round. The small, scaly-looking Inca dove is also a common year-round resident at the feeders. In the last several decades, the Inca dove has expanded its range north, out of Mexico, and is now one of the most familiar birds in cities across the southwestern United States. The nearby riparian area at the Patagonia Sonoida Creek Preserve is worth the visit in the summer to see the Greyhawk. This medium-sized raptor perches below the canopy of tall cottonwoods and willows, waiting to prey on lizards and snakes. Summer is also a good time to visit the famous Patagonia Roadside Rest Area for the thick-billed kingbird. This bulky and noisy flycatcher is often found perched in the tops of the streamside sycamores and cottonwoods located across the highway from the rest area. Several miles west of Patagonia, the Patagonia Lake State Park is worth a visit to look for several species. 
The Mexican duck is a fairly common year-round resident on the lake. It is a very close relative of the mallard and was only recently split as a separate species in 2020. The male has a dull yellowish bill. The bill of the female is mainly orange. The birding trail along Sonoida Creek is a reliable spot to look for the northern beardless tyranulate, which is a small grayish olive flycatcher that acts more like a vario. Its key features are two indistinct buffy wing bars, a stubby bill with an orange base, and a usually peaked bushy crown. Many of the species we have covered in this video have extensive ranges in the tropics. The range of the Abert's Toei, though, is almost confined to Arizona, with just a slight overlap in two adjoining states and extreme northwestern Mexico. The Phanopepla is a distinct bird with a sleeky body, shaggy crest, long tail, and crimson red eyes. Although numbers may fluctuate between seasons, it is often found in the tall trees laden with clumps of mistletoe. The cottonwood trees within the campground can be a good place to find the species. To watch a more extensive video of Patagonia Lake State Park, please click the link below this video. With a broad selection of hotels and restaurants, Sierra Vista is a convenient base to explore the nearby Huachuca Mountains. The world famous Ramsey Canyon Preserve, Carr Canyon, Miller Canyon, and the Ash Canyon Bird Sanctuary are all within a short drive. The peak season for birding in these areas is April through September. Managed by the Nature Conservancy, the Ramsey Canyon Preserve is a world-renowned birding area. The feeders at the visitor center attract good numbers of the large Rivoli's hummingbirds, which was formerly known as Magnificent Hummingbird. The smaller broad-billed hummingbird can also be found there in good numbers, mainly from March to September. The male's vivid red bill, emerald green body, and glistening blue throat are unmistakable. The feeders at the Beatty's Guest Ranch in Miller Canyon are one of the best areas to see the much sought after white-eared hummingbird. Although the male is unmistakable, the plainer female is often confused with the female broad-billed hummingbird, which has a longer bill and lacks the spots on the underparts. The higher elevation forests of Carr Canyon are good in summer to look for the greater peewee, which typically perches near the tops of trees on exposed branches and snags. A high clearance vehicle is required for driving the steep dirt road up Carr Canyon. The smaller and much scarcer buff-breasted flycatcher typically perches closer to the ground in the Ponderosa Pines between Reef Town Site and Ramsey Vista Campgrounds. Both this and the previous species can be found in Upper Car Canyon from March to September. Unlike the dark-eyed junco, which is a primarily winter visitor, the yellow-eyed junco is a common year-round resident in the Ponderosa Pine Forests of Upper Car Canyon. It is typically found on the ground scratching at leaf litter in search of seeds and insects. Ash Canyon Bird Sanctuary, closed on Thursday mornings, is one of the more reliable spots to look for the elusive Montezuma quail. Due to its secretive nature, this species is often considered the holy grail of southeastern Arizona birds. From late March through September, the feeders often attract the Lucifer's hummingbird, which is highly sought after by avid birders. Although both sexes have a long, slightly decurved bill, only the male sports the distinct, elongated purple throat. 
Rising several thousand feet above the desert floor, the Chiricahua Mountains are the largest of Arizona's Sky Island mountain ranges and the second highest. The mountains can be approached from Pinery Canyon Road on the west side or from Portal on the east side. The best birding is above Onion Saddle along the road to Rustler Park and Barfoot Park, as well as Cave Creek Canyon on the east side of the mountains. A high clearance vehicle is strongly recommended to drive the dirt road over the mountains and snow and ice may make the road impassable in winter. One of the most sought after North American wobblers by avid birders is the stunning red-faced wobbler. This summer visitor inhabits the pine, oak, and fir forests above Onion Saddle from April through mid-September. Unlike most North American wobblers, this species and the painted red start place their nests on the ground. Most birders come here though to spot the Mexican chickadee. A trip to southeastern Arizona would not be complete without searching for this bird. Within the United States, the higher elevations of the Chiricahua Mountains are the only accessible place to see this species. The tops of the tall Ponderosa Pines above Onion Saddle are a good place to search for the Grace's Wobbler. This summer visitor arrives mostly in April and departs mostly by early September. The much scarcer olive wobbler can also be found in the tops of the tall ponderosas and rarely comes down to eye level. Although most birds arrive from Mexico for the summer, a few individuals move down into the oak woodlands and lower foothills for the winter. By scanning overhead turkey vultures, be on the lookout for the similar zone-tailed hawk, which can be distinguished by its blackish tail with white bands. Located on the east side of the mountain, the world-famous Cave Creek Canyon is a stunning place to visit and see some amazing birds. North America's largest hummingbird, the blue-throated mountain gem, is a common summer visitor to Cave Creek Canyon and one or two individuals typically stay over winter. It can often be found in the several Forest Service campgrounds or at one of the public viewing bird feeding stations in and around Portal. The sulfur belly flycatcher is a large, streaky flycatcher that sounds remarkably like a squeaky toy. Although the U.S. breeding population is restricted to southeastern Arizona, Recent confirmed nesting has been documented in adjacent southwestern New Mexico. We end this video with what must be the most sought after bird southeastern Arizona has to offer, the spectacular elegant trogan. This mainly spring and summer visitor can be found along the sycamore line creeks, such as at South Fork. Its distinct song is a series of croaking sounds, sometimes compared to a dog's bark, and it is usually the first sign of its presence. To watch a more extensive video of Cave Creek Canyon, you can click the link below this video. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe so you do not miss our next Advent Nature.